Hello, this is Pierre Schiller with a quick update uh, with the most recent version of Blender 3.3 which now includes in the Edit Preferences Interface Developer Extras Experimental Real-Time Compositor You just mark that and now you can switch into the Compositor view and start creating any kind of effects with the available nodes or the real-time compositing so in this case I'm doing all of this let me just zoom in because I want to imitate an old retro style cartoon and in this case as you may see this is the fixie head <laughs> fixie character and I have applied all of these filters you can check them out here let me just maximize this put pause on the video check out how I mix these things and this is the result and for that you need to activate the use compositor and then obviously assign your materials your modifiers but when you have a special dedicated window in a 3d view port you can then activate use the compositor and all of the notes that you compose here need to go through the composite node so this is how you can see your current effect effect look at that this is the viewport guys we can finally render out stuff like unreal engine with post effects directly on the viewport we can finally do Genshin impact detection by outline uh, normals it's just great. I mean, a whole new plethora of combinations just opened with this. Thank you so much, Blender developers, because this is just outstanding. By the way, this grain added here was just an image. So this image right here, I just downloaded from the internet. Uh, all the film grain and stuff. And then you can put it as an overlay on top of your current whatever model you have so this is my shaded model and this is my composited model it's just mind-blowing so never again post effect oh by the way if you wanted to use a glare glare is not available so whenever you use a node that is not available the entire network the entire three falls down watch this uh, this is glare so if I activate glare the compositor stops working instead of crashing which is I, I mean this is from the perspective from the programmers perspective point of view this is just outstanding when you include something that it's going to make your uh, code run faulty it is better to stop it and that's what happens here so whenever you introduce a node which has not been refactored for this version then the compositor just stops working anyway so you can just remove that and whenever you're working with all of the nodes that your current um, compositor 3 works then everything shows up here in the viewport thank you very much for watching this video and yes we are happy that the community has grown bigger now we're 20 K followers this is just amazing thank you guys uh, it's a it's a great honor to to serve the community this way specifically anime stylized tune shaders thank you very much